something to give. Nobody's going to make money, no one's going to build a success unless you're doing something for, the, for other people. So it's about providing value for others. Um, if you get that right, you will have a successful business. If you don't, you're doing it as a vanity project. Please debate the state of the nation. The fictional battles and whatever, let them stay No, 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 not to that. I must debate. We are here to where more than 26 million of its population live in absolute poverty and suffering. I'm out here with these luxuries. Yo, Marco Bluley here on the airwaves. It's cliffcentral.com, man. It's such a blessing and a treat to talk to you guys. We have such an interesting show for you today, man. You guys won't even believe it. Echo for Frau, why does he deliver his speech in a white man's language of English, not in his own mother tongue? I have no time for racist questions. All members, I am quite fit to sit on this chair. You are a man of tradition, Mr. President. A tradition of empty promises. We are here to speak about the many capable children who do not have access to quality and free education because the state cannot provide free quality education for all. The problem is, however, I don't think South Africa can garner enough finances between the government and the private sector to make it free, free. for everybody. Mm. Subsidized mm. education, I completely understand, education for the poor for, for free, or at least a lower amount. Mm. But as a whole, universities run on resources and research which cost a lot of money, especially from the private sector, because a lot of private sector sector companies invest in universities because the research output develops their business, pharmaceuticals, etc. When we talk about pharmacy departments and what kind of pharmaceuticals we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen that. I'm all yours, Chen. I don't want to invest in yeah. Anything is provided. Even if you not just explain them and but sometimes I'm even laying on the table. We are here to speak about a country where more than 26 million of its population live in absolute poverty and suffering.